Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Uh, now uh, today we shall discuss on the examples of Taylor series. So the example is that obtain a Taylor series expansion for f of x is equal to sin x in the ascending powers of x minus pi by 4 up to the fourth term. So this is one of the important example. So here we have, uh, so the given is that f of x is equal to sin x. And the next thing is that in the ascending powers of x minus pi by 4 up to the fourth term. So means fourth term means here n is 4. Means you need to find uh, the Taylor series expansion up to n raised up to fourth term. And then uh, uh, the x minus pi by 4. So here we, uh, we shall first step is we shall write the Taylor series expansion. So the Taylor series expansion is given as That is f of x is equal to f of a plus x minus a into f dash of a plus x minus a raised to whole square divided by 2 into f double dash of a plus. So up to the nth term. That is x minus a raised to n minus 1 divided by n minus 1 into f raised to n minus 1 into a plus that is uh, uh, the nth term, that is x raised to n by n, f raised to n into a. So this is the Taylor series expansion, so write it as equation 1. So our first step is uh, you are going to replace f of x is equal to sin x. Uh, so before that uh, writing all the all this in the equation, so first we need to find the derivatives, that is f dash of a, f double dash of a and then uh, up to, uh, they have told up to fourth term, means you are going to find it. Uh, with uh, f raised to 4 means f raised to 4th the term you are going to find it so that is uh, initially we shall find for the first derivation that is uh, first step is you are going to find the first derivative uh, which is written as f dash so here the first thing is you are going to write for f dash of uh, f dash of a so here we know that f of x is nothing but sin x right so you are going to find the f dash of x. So f dash of x is nothing but it is the first derivative. So derivative of sin x is nothing but cos x. Cos x. And here we know that uh, x is nothing but. So f x is nothing but x minus pi by 4. So you are going to replace x with x minus pi by 4. So here uh, whenever you take x is equal to x minus pi by 4, x, it gets cancelled. So remaining is only pi by 4 means uh, x minus a is there. So when you write it as x minus pi by 4, so a becomes pi by 4. So you are going to uh, find the f dash of a. So f dash of a is nothing but cos x. So you are going to replace x with uh, pi by 4. So it will be cos pi by 4. So what is cos pi by 4? Uh, according to trigonometry, cos pi by 4 is nothing but 1 by square root of 2. Uh, similarly, you are going to find the f double dash of x. f double dash of x is nothing but, so the, the second derivative of the cos x. So cos x is, uh, the derivative of cos x is minus sin x. So here, you are going to uh, replace x with pi by 4. So minus sin pi by 4. So what is the derivative of sine pi by 4 that is uh, that is sine 45 degree pi by 4 is nothing but sine 45 degree and similarly cos 45 degree both will be same. So it is 1 by square root of 2 1 by square root of 2 here we have minus pi by uh, minus sine pi by 4 so sine pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 so uh, keeping minus sign as it is and then the next step is you are going to find the uh, f triple dash of x. So f triple dash of x is nothing but it's a derivative of the uh, sin x. So derivative of sin x is cos x. So again it will be minus cos pi by 4. So cos pi by 4 is nothing but it is minus 1 by square root of 2. And then lastly we are going to find the f fourth derivative of x. So that is uh, differentiation of cos x is minus sin x. So minus into minus sin x. So this can be written as sin x. So where x is nothing but pi by 4. So you can write it as sin pi by 4. So sin pi by 4 is nothing but it's a 1 by square root of 2. Uh, so now we have found 
the f of x is sin x so we have found that the f dash of x it is 1 by square root of 2 and then f double dash of x is minus 1 by square root of 2 f triple dash of x is minus 1 by square root 2 and uh, uh, this is the f fourth power of x which is nothing as 1 by square root of 2 so thus we have obtained the f of x is equal to sin x which is given and then we found that the first derivative that is f dash of x or you can write in our uh, in our equation it is f, f dash of a so f dash of a is equal to uh, we have obtained it as 1 divided by square root of 2 and then the next thing is second derivative that is f double dash of a which is written as uh, minus 1 divided by square root of 2 and the next thing is f triple dash of a uh, which we have obtained it as f triple dash of a is nothing but it is minus 1 divided by square root of 2 and similarly uh, the f fourth derivative of a so that is fourth derivative of a it is obtained as 1 divided by square root of 2 so then again now uh, writing the Taylor series so then uh, the Taylor series is written as that is f of x is equal to f of a plus x minus a into the first derivative that is f dash of a plus x minus a the whole square divided by 2 into f double dash of a plus we need to obtain up to fourth derivative so that is x minus a the whole cube divided by 3 into f triple dash of a plus finally x minus a raised to 4 divided by 4 into you can write it as f fourth derivative of a so now we need to substitute the uh, it uh, substitute all the values in the equation that is substituting all the values so consider it as equation 1. So substituting all the values in the equation 1. So thus we have so clearly it is given that uh, the function f of x is given as sin x and then they have given it up to x minus pi by 4 terms. So here by clearly observing in this equation we can write, uh, write it as x minus 5 by 4 where uh, by observing this there is x and x minus a. So instead of a they have given it as pi by 4. So by looking to this we can write it as a is equal to pi by 4. So now just uh, substituting a is equal to pi by 4 and uh, substituting all the values of f dash of a, f double dash of a and f triple dash of a and the fourth derivative in the equation. Uh, so that is uh, f of x is equal to uh, so f of a so it is f of a that is f of x is nothing but sin x so that is uh, f of a we need to find so then the first f of a so f of a is nothing but pi by 4 f of pi by 4 so that is uh, f of x is nothing but sin x that is sin pi by 4 so sin pi by 4 is nothing but it is 1 divided by square root of 2 so now we need to we also obtain the Uh, we also obtain the f of a f of a is nothing but it is pi by 4 so therefore uh, now uh, substituting all this in the equation we have f of x is equal to uh, f of a so where f of a is nothing but uh, that is uh, f of a is nothing but that is you are going to write it as f of pi by 4 that is uh, 1 divided by root 2 thus we can write it as 1 divided by root 2 so f of a is nothing but 1 divided by root 2 so f of x is equal to f of a so where f of a is nothing but 1 divided by square root of 2 plus so x minus a so x minus a is nothing but pi by 4 so writing it as pi by 4 into the first derivative that is f dash of a so that is f dash of a is nothing but 1 divided by square root of 2 f double dash of a is nothing but minus 1 by square root of 2 then triple dash of a is nothing but minus 1 divided by square root of 2 and f fourth derivative of a is nothing but 1 divided by square root of 2 so thus we have obtained all this so now just substituting it in this equation so f dash of a is nothing but 1 divided by square root of 2 plus 
x minus a the whole square is nothing but x minus pi by 4 the whole square divided by 2 into f double dash of a is nothing but minus 1 divided by uh, square root of 2. So minus 1 divided by square root 2. Then plus uh, that is the derivation x minus pi by 4 whole cube divided by 3 into x, uh, x triple dash of a that is a uh, third derivative is nothing but minus 1 divided by square root of 2. So plus uh, the fourth derivative that is uh, f x minus pi by 4 raised to 4 divided by 4 into uh, we have obtained it as 1 divided by square root of 2. So by clearly observing in this equation uh, we know that 1 divided by square root of 2 is common. So now taking f of x is equal to uh, 1 divided by square root of 2 common. So this uh, by taking 1 divided by square root of 2 we have 1 plus then this will be x minus pi by 4 then plus so this will be we have taken 1 by square root of 2 outside so it will be x minus pi by 4 whole square divided by 2 plus uh, so then after that uh, we have uh, then the next thing is plus uh, x minus pi by 4 whole cube divided by 3 and then here we have it is a minus 1 by root 2 so minus uh, x minus pi by 4 raised to 4 uh, so then after that uh, the plus into minus will be minus so it will be uh, x minus pi by 4 raised to 4 uh, so thus we have obtained uh, the Taylor series equation uh, for given f of x equal to sin x that is you can also write f of x is given as sin x. So sin x is equal to 1 divided by square root of 2 into 1 plus x minus pi by 4 plus x minus pi by 4 the whole square divided by 2 plus x minus pi by 4 whole cube divided by 3 plus x minus pi by 4 whole raised to 4 divided by 4. So thus we have obtained uh, the Taylor series expansion for the function f of x equal to sin x and then we have considered uh, x minus pi by 4 and we have obtained it up to the fourth term so this is the required uh, so this is the required result thank you friends subscribe our channel for more updates